let's talk about how you can call Kotlin classes from within Java. So we'll talk about the JVM interop here. So let's assume we have a couple of files here. One on the left-hand side, we have a customer model. All it is is a Kotlin data class that contains a customer and it has a function in it. And basically the function checks if the customer has a long name. We have maybe some type of service. So we have a couple of packages here. And inside of this application, we have some Kotlin, uh, some Java for whatever reason. It, it has to be Java or it's just maybe a very large file that we haven't converted to Kotlin yet. And you need to call into some Kotlin maybe that was written. Uh, now you can actually do that. So here we're in a Java file and let's say that we need to interact with the customer. And so let's have a method called process customer. So we'll say public void process customer. So, it's, and then what we need to do is we need to work with the customer. So we need to take a parameter here. So we say customer and I say customer. So we'll do it just like Java has it open, close brackets. Uh, well, we need to import this. Now again, this is a Kotlin class. So if we look, go to the definition, we're gonna see that now we're back in Kotlin. And that's it, now we are able to work with this customer. Uh, if we wanna do something with the customer, we can say customer dot, and then we have all of the methods that are available to us. So customer has long name, that's a, a Boolean value. That's over here, that's this method right here. If we want to get the customer's name, we now have get name. Now this is interesting. So get name actually goes to name, but we never defined a get name method. Now Kotlin takes care of that for us underneath the hood, basically creates a get name and set name for us. But if we look, there is no set name. And the reason why is because this is a val. So this is a read only. So we cannot reassign this value. It's a, it's a read only type. If for whatever reason, this needed to be writable and needed to be mutated, we could then change this if we had access to the, to the Kotlin code. And then we could actually, then at that point, Kotlin will give us the set name and we can pass in the value, whatever the new name is. Now, at this point, you can call into Kotlin very easily. You can say customer dot, customer has long name, and you can do anything that you would really like to do at this point in time. The only thing you really have to really worry about with these classes is the different types. And you can know that the getters and setters are generated for you automatically for through Kotlin. Because inside of Kotlin, we don't need to actually generate the getters and setters because we just will access it directly off of the name properties. We can just set the name equal to something. And that's how you can call very simple objects in Kotlin.